Y'all remember Janet who didn't uh, bring her hat? She left. Uh, we're going to go be in the audience for uh, Naked Attraction. That's right. We're going to, her and I are going to go there after this show's over. Wow. I'm, I'll, I'll buy your plane ticket. Janet and I, we're going to be a thing. I'm telling you. Hey, Steph, you're hey, in my geez. shot again, but that's oh. fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never. I know I've not done it for a few Just times. Just take six. Okay. Stephanie Hansen, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, we're doing. Uh, let me read the intro. Are you ready? Yes. Hey, the fall season is a delicious time of year. Whether you're hungry for a honey crisp or you're a fan of the Fuji, apple season is here. That's right. Uh, now, uh, there's a lot of. You're already going, girl. You didn't even wait. Yeah. I'm what just, if, you know, yeah. we're going to make a few things. Are we making? Because uh, people probably have an abundance of apples right now. Yeah. Well, and if you don't, go get some because this is the perfect season to do it. Yeah. And there's so many different kinds of apples. If you don't know, the University of Minnesota, like, engineers and makes apples that we sell all over the United States, all over the world. They engineered the Honeycrisp and they've got a bunch of other apples coming on board. It's just great apple season. It's one of the, I did that story several years ago. We should replay it maybe for the, our new friends in Iowa and Orlando and Seattle and Chicago. That, if you guys get a chance, it's like, you know, you, you, you forget to take advantage of things in your own backyard. That, I did a tour there and seeing how they develop apples, fascinating. Completely fascinating. Beyond. It's, it's really, it's yeah. a great program that they have there. So I ended up going to Sweetland Orchard and getting a lot of different apples. Okay. So the first thing I always do with apples is sweet. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love like a good apple tart. I love an apple pie, an apple crisp, an apple cake. And so I made a coffee strudel cake. And one of the things I love about this particular cake is there's four apples inside it. So they're, it's very apple-y. Okay. But that streusel bit here, just eat a little bit of the top of the streusel bit. Okay. Streusel, I mean, why don't we have streusel on everything? It's mm. so good. Mm. It's just like buttery and crispy and delicious. I'm, Janet and I are gonna take that on the plane with us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when we go to everyone yeah. wanted to have cake. Yeah. So that's kind of your sweet profile. And I've also got some other recipes on my website for apple-y things that are sweet. But I just- a good, Is this hard? No, it really isn't. You just mix up apples and eggs and butter, and then you pour that in your pan and with a little flour that you've mixed into, and then you make the streusel. Streusel seems hard because they talk about like cutting in the butter. This one, it's just melted butter. So there's no cutting in or making it into pea size, anything. You just put the sugar in and stir it up. This recipe on stephaniesdish.com, yeah. okay? Okay, now I'm obsessed with grains, which I guess producer Jeff is too. This is farro. So in your Instant Pot, and you can make that on the stovetop too, but you can make farro in seven minutes and farro is like a nutty, chewy, delicious grain that soaks up dressings. So it's really great in like a harvest salad. Have you ever had farro? No, may I have? Yeah, here, have a couple farros. <laughs> they're just, they're kind of like rice, but they're a little nuttier. Ooh, I enjoy those. Yeah, they're really delicious. Oh, I like, that is a really good texture. Yes, and you can use it to make like risotto. You can use it to make any kind of salads, grain bowls. Okay. I'm just gonna mix up a little dressing here with some apple cider vinegar. Because always, you guys know this by now, Stephanie makes all of her own dressing. I do, it's I like, do. Yeah, she does not, she doesn't even know where wishbone is. No, she doesn't even know. Cause it's so much no. easier just to do it yourself. I know. But so yeah. apple cider vinegar, because we're making apples, a little lemon juice, a little olive oil. Okay. We've always, you always in your, when you're making dressing, you have a sweet, a salty, an oil and a vinegar. So we've got a little honey. Oh, that's not, oh, repeat that again. A sweet, a salty oil and vinegar, which is the acid. Okay. And then salt. And that's the basic, that's the yeah, basic foundation every of every yep. dressing. We did that on the show like three years ago. I should probably do it again. It yeah. was a good segment. That's good, yeah. So we put a little mustard just to give it so that we have like a little um, emulsification, which just means a creaminess to it. Okay. So in your bowl, you've got farro, you've got arugula, you could use spinach, you could use kale. You've got some apples and I always put a little lemon juice on my apples so they stay good. I cut these up this morning and they're still pretty and not brown. You've got toasted almonds. Whenever you're using nuts in a harvest salad, toast them. It brings out a lot more flavor. Okay. We've got some cranberries. I'm loving the salad. Yeah, because it's sweet, it's yeah. salty. 
and I then, like a salad with various textures. Yeah. That makes me feel full. It makes me feel like I'm Salad having, I'm not like a rabbit. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? That I'm eating something with substance. You and know? green salads, you guys. I'm actually going to put a few more greens I would, in You there. know what? I was just going to ask if you could. Because I mean, not that I'm going to eat that, but no, I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have this maybe okay. for a little lunch today. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to pour this over and pour it on our greens. I'm so, oh. And we can add as Your much. Your family is so lucky. Really? Yeah, I mean, the fact they don't that feel uh, your so family lucky. is, I know. <laughs> My goodness. My daughter, I think, appreciates it more now than she did when she was a kid. Cause she does. I've talked to her about oh, it. Oh, see. <laughs> she wouldn't tell her mom that. Oh, that's so good. So, yeah, and I think we even could put a little few more apples in there. Make it harvesty. Okay. Tonight I'm having a cocktail party for 10 people I don't know. And I might serve this. <laughs> I um, donated it for charity. For oh, I was charity. like, I didn't get that invite, but okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I well, donated it for a cancer charity, and I'm like, oh, I don't know these people. What can I serve? Well, serve them this. Yes, and the cake. Well, we're, you're, we're keeping this, but I mean, yeah. We're, we're going to taste it more. Uh, uh, Jan and I are going to dig into this cake, and we'll be back with more Stephanie. She's answering your questions from our Facebook page when we return. Oh, that looks you're serving this cake today. Social media, Jason Show TV, and our personal accounts. Search for Stephanie Hansen and my personal account, Jason Matheson. We're on all the socials. We're back again with Foodie Queen Stephanie Hansen. Speaking of the socials, last week we asked you for food questions for Steph on our Jason Show Facebook page. We got so many, we're going to do another round of Ask Stephanie. But first, uh, may I taste? Yeah. Okay, why don't I read the first one and then you can okay. answer. Okay, I mean, or no, please, go first. No, you got to taste it, too. Thank you. Uh, Sarah's up first. Hi, Yum. Sarah. Sarah writes, hey, Stephanie, I planted leeks in my garden. What do I do with them now? How do I, how do I clean them? How Sarah, do I use them? You're ambitious with your leeks. I like that. So you're going to cut them in half, and you're going to rinse them because they a lot of times have sand in them. They get sand between the little leaky folds. Uh, sand? Yeah, you can get it out. You just wash it. Okay. You need to make potato leek soup. That's one of my favorite things to do with leeks. Otherwise, I would make like a frittata, or you can frizzle them in oil and make them so they're crispy and top like a salad or a steak. Frizzled leeks are delicious. Can I just take this home? Today? You can. You can. I, I literally want this whole thing for I lunch. know. So good. That is really good. Okay. Yeah. That was a good salad. I got a job to do, Jace. Here we go. Laura. Hey, Laura. She asks, hey, Stephanie. What is your favorite way to jazz up plain old chicken breast? Okay, people, pound them out and put little breadcrumbs on them, like a little egg wash, little breadcrumbs, and fry them and have like a schnitzel-y situation, or like just chop them up and put them on salad and have like crispy, okay. or serve them with mashed potatoes. Now, can I, okay, now let me give you a variant on that one. Mm -hmm. Let's say people don't want to fry, they want something slightly healthier, would you just put it in an air fryer, maybe? Yeah, but then you're just air frying a sad, boring chicken breast. Okay. At I, least, like, make it super spicy or something. Okay. It's not that unhealthy to fry in, like, a teaspoon of butter in your skillet. Okay. It's not. Sure. You're going to be fine. I feel like you're yelling at me. I, I don't know. I'm I just, just like, I get so, like, all of this fat obsession, like, I just we don't have to be worried about that. We need to eat whole, natural, good fats. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But, girl. <laughs> Girl, I, I, I get you. I'm naked show. I gotta watch what I'm eating. <laughs> Daniel has a next question. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. He says, "Hey, Stephanie. I was gifted several large bags of meatballs after a party. <laughs> w what the hell kind of party are you going to? Anyway, I froze the meatballs. My family is tired of barbecue meatballs. Any creative ideas of what to do with the meatballs? A couple. It's my favorite email of the year. Yeah, by the way. yeah, I have boxes of meatballs. One of my favorite recipes on my website is." the instant pot spaghetti and meatballs where you put already prepared meatballs and the noodles and layer the sauce in there and you cook it all in the instant pot so I would do that number one but also like you can just cut up the balls of meat and you can like fry them in a skillet and then you can make like sloppy joes or you could have taco meat you don't have to keep them in meatball form you can just slice them up <laughs> your family won't know yeah 
tell the folks because you know new friends now. Mm -hmm. Tell the folks about because it's it, to me it's it, it's instant pot and crock pot season. No, that's it's Crocktober. <laughs> okay, okay, it starts okay. October first. Again, you're yelling at me. You're I yelling yell at me. I think I yell a lot. <laughs> no, tell everybody about your um. Oh, your, okay. In, tell everybody the new friends about your instant pot uh, land. Weekly Dish Instant Potters is yeah. our Facebook group. And October 1st is the start of Crocktober. I will bring you Crocktober recipes throughout the month. Yes. That just means, because your Instant Pot is also your slow cooker, right? Because it has two settings. There's your, look at those people right there. Okay. There's your close up right Hi, there. Hi people. Yeah. So you're gonna have a lot of fun with Crocktober. You could make crock or slow cooker recipes every single day in the month of October. You Very are exciting. so excited. I love it. It's my favorite time of year. Yeah. Again, weekly, write this down, weekly dish. Instant potters. Instant potters, as in Harry potters. Potter. Yeah. And so go be a member. You will love the recipes and all of Stephanie's recipes. The other ones are available, boop, boop, on stephaniesdish.com or visit uh, the Jason Show. <coughs> I'm spitting that Delicious brain. Delicious anyway, salad. Uh, Jason Show TV on YouTube and Facebook. And don't forget to screen, uh, stream episodes of Stephanie's Show Taste Buds. It's available through the fabulous Fox Local app on your streaming device. We'll be right back after this. I'm going to leave you some salad. Please do. That's my life.